trust me, you want to hear this. I promise, you're going to want to hear this. I want to hear it? Sure, buddy. Hey, you interested in some quick money? I am talking real quick. Yeah, now, it's too open here, but um, follow me and we'll chat. Sure, sure. We'll chat, all right. All right, so here's what I have in mind. <laughs> oh. How do you find these damn idiots? You can just tell with some folk. Come on, let's see what he has and dump him somewhere. Wow. Wow, I I just got raped. Mugged. God knows what they did to me. Wow, I'm I'm pissed off. I was ready for him to betray me. I just didn't know he was going to completely screw me over $400. Uh, times for Arthur. He got me there. They, they got me. Hey, move it. Uh, I think I need a drink. There's a little bar around here. Saloon. Doyle's Tavern. No friends. Hey, buy me a drink, mon ami. Hello. Hey. Oh, what you want? Brandy. Two brandies, bud. It's two dollars a glass. Oh, better be good then. Mm. It's the best. Thank you. Santé. <clears throat> ah, it's quite a country you're building here, eh? Well, me personally? Hmm? I don't know. What do you do? Mostly, I just shoot people. Oh, how very American of you. I love it. What do you do? Oh, mostly I, I pose, I show off, I complain. Oh, how very French. I know. <laughs> I am ridiculous. <laughs> I have been all over the world. I have seen the sights, and I have discovered the one eternal truth that I am a pies, um, how do you say, old ass. Mm? Asshole? Mm. That too. That too. <laughs> mm. Well, at least you have some self-knowledge. <laughs> Where were you on your journey? Mm. All the civilized world. Painting my little pictures, meeting the locals, you know. You a painter? No. I'm a whole ass. I thought we had covered this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, mm. but you paint. Not according to salons at Paris. No. According to them, I cannot draw, I cannot paint, and I should go away. And so I went away. You miss Paris? Mmm, that smelly, filthy place with old buildings and ghosts and shit and French people. I have that right here. Mm. I guess so. Mm. You know, uh... Arthur. Charles, you know Arthur? Don't believe in art. Mm. It's lies. Believe in women. They're the truth. Art is lies, but the vagina, that is truth. Breasts is truth. Art. For idiots. You say so. Oh, trust me, I've tried both. One is better, much better. <sighs> so, I uh, must be boring you. Uh, but, here. What is it? Uh, it's just a little doodle. Uh, you know, entirely worthless, unless you want to wipe your bottom with it. But I wanted to say thank you for the drinks. Well, that's very kind, Charles. Mm, no matter. Good meeting you. Mm.
If no one else will buy me a drink, I will go. Die, dark idiot. All of you. Today, my luck's been all bad. Well, the drink definitely did not make me forget that I just got robbed and potentially raped. Oh well. Let's go, s go up here. Now I can wait a bit. my horse uh, think about it let's steal my horse in Saint Denis, you can't remember why. How are you? Hey friend. What? <laughs> Listen, bit of a weird question, but do you know where I might find some moonshine? What? Moonshine. You know, strong liquor, over strong. Wow, you want to get over drunk? <laughs> no, no, it's not for drinking. <laughs> what is it for? Oh, I just need some. Well, as luck would have it, you are in the legal hooch capital of America. Ooh. There's plenty of real booze here. Right. But for shine, well, I'm guessing you'd need to go out into the woods. Mm. I mean, I know you'd have to go out into the woods. Well, listen, I don't need that much. How much? About a hundred gallons. Of to shine? Yes, thereabouts. Why? Oh, all right, I'm trying. I'm building a machine. A machine of love. <laughs> hundred gallons of hooch and love's gonna come pretty cheap. Please, friend. I'll pay. Just, just, just bring it here. It's for a good cause. Well, if anyone knows who's moving that kind of shine, it'll be that stagecoach guy in Rhodes. Come on, let's get. Oh, my horse is here, beautiful. Thought they had sold you, girl. Smokey away. I'm heading to Rhodes. Oh, head to Rhodes later. Another thing that I sort of want to do is go and pay my bounty. I don't know why I have a bounty here. I want to put my bounty here in St. Denis. Go check for any letters. On the way back, I will probably go Brother Dorkins. Come on, Smokey. Change my mind, we're going into town. Oh, nope, okay, Kill the smoke, either dissing on you, they don't like you. You are a prize winning horse. Don't listen to them. Ah, uh, Brother Dorkin is the guy the Reverend hey. was told me to come visit. Look out. All right, buddy. Addy, nice to see you. Well, 
must have done some real trouble to acquire this kind of price in your head. Go. Okay. Oh, letters? I think it's from this side that I get them, though. I see you there. Give me a minute, please. Uh huh. Yes, I have no letters. Thank you for your help. Maybe that's only online. I can't quite remember. Yeah, let's head back up to Brother Darkin. Alright, friends. At least I got mugged. Let me get put this the other way. That is, partner. Quite remember what that guy looked like. I'll find him someday. Get my money back. Let's go, girl. Homes for the blind. Morning, sir. Is, is someone there? Anything to spare for a blind man? Hmm. Well, is someone there? There you go, oh, friend. Bless you, mister. Truly, you're a saint. Yes, sir. There should be more people in the world like you. God bless. Sure about that, but good luck, friend. Hey, come on. I got places to be. Stop <laughs> messing with me. Uh, this guy's not blind at all. <laughs> what if I go beat his ass for it? Morning, friend. Hey. I'm right back here, boy. Stop that foolishness. I need help. What? Get out of here. Okay, girl. Hello. Hey, what the hell? We have a little food, I guess. I try. I ain't so kind. Yes, you are, sir. You have it in you, I can tell. I'm a nasty bit of work, father. You're wrong on two counts, sir. I'm a humble brother, a penitent monk, not a priest, and you're a magnificent bit of work. You may have made some some poor choices, but which of us hasn't? <laughs> you have no idea. But you do. And God does, and that's enough for me and for him. We shall see. That we shall, sir. But why don't you hedge your bets and give two bits to the poor? There are so many who will go hungry tonight. Sure. Bless you, sir. How you getting on, anyhow? 
These are a somewhat apathetic lot, I'm afraid. Mm. My, um, my mentor says that America is designed to induce apathy in people. It's a wonderful insight. He must be a wise man, your mentor. <laughs> well, sometimes he's a downright fool, but yeah, usually he's the best man I know. That's wonderful. The, the thing is, I'm, well, poverty will always be with us. But slavery, I, I thought we had banished that. Like Saint-Denis is acting as a staging post for shipping slaves out to some of the islands. I don't believe you. It's 1899. Maybe you should take a look for yourself. I've heard that the pawnbroker down the block around the corner, the one with the green door, well, they say he sells more than forlorn trinkets. Help the poor. Guess we'll go find out. It's just through the market there to the left. Okay, but I'm stuck. I'm literally stuck here. I. Mister, uh, feel free to browse. Shall do. Oh, uh, nothing much back there. I'm afraid, just a, a few old books. You timed it well. Some quality pieces in at the moment. A bit of a strange question, but you heard tell of slavers around here, buddy? What? Where are they? Who? The people you're hiding. I know they're here. Don't lie to me. Please, they made me do it. I was always good to them, but they, they, they forced me to do it, sir, I swear. Where are they? Uh, the, there's a door behind the bookcase there. Just pull the big red book called The Scourge of Crossbreeding by Harold McDougall. Come on, you don't have to clean me out. I'm really not a bad man. This is my brother's store. I I'm just watching it while he's away. They made me do it, I swear. Oh, hello? Gajate, gajate. Hello? Por favor, ayúdanos. Help, please. Ayúdanos. Now don't worry. I'm on your side. ¿Quién eres? Please, I'm on your side. It's gonna be okay. Gracias, señor. Muchas gracias. Come with me. Don't worry. You're going to be all right now. I promise. That's it. Come on. You'll be safe soon. This way. Not much farther. Poor bastards. ¿Quién es este hombre? No lo sé. Estamos libres y eso es lo que importa. Tenemos que confiar en él. How may I help you today? Welcome back, sir. You were right. I 
found these two imprisoned in that shop. Oh, my. That's... Well, they are blessed to have met you, Arthur. Trust me in that. They're very unusual. I don't think they speak much English. My brothers, come. Let's go get something to eat. Manger. Comida, please. Hey, he forgot this. Oh. Yes. Thank you. I... Uh... Here. Payment. For your services. I could not have freed these men myself. Give it to the poor, brother. Thank you. I will. Like I said, magnificent. Come on. Come, come, come. Come see me again sometime. I often work at the old church on Gasper Street in St. Francis. Straight down, you say? <laughs> Arthur. Hello, Mary. You came. Sure. Whenever you call for me, I'll come. Oh, Arthur. What's wrong? Daddy. Your father? I'm a bigger fool than I even thought. I'm begging you, Arthur. I know Daddy was not kind to you, but but surely you cannot hate a man for the sin of loving his daughter and wanting better for her than... than... Than me? Than the choices you what make. What choice did I have? Did I ever have? Oh, I know. You had to live by your code. But your code is... Well, it's not right. Has your way been right, Mary? With you, and Jamie joining a bunch of crazies, and hypocritical daddy with his drinking and horn and gambling. Huh? Is that what a pure life has gotten you, begging me for help? Oh, Arthur. He's got a point. Be kind to me. Please. I'm sorry. I am... I should have asked someone else. But... But I'm the best guy you know at frightening decent people. It wasn't that I didn't love you, Arthur. You know that. Mm. Oh, Arthur. We were so very young. Think how different life could have been. Yeah, I think about it. A lot. I, it all seems so long ago and far away now. Will you help me try to save Daddy? I'll help you. Come along, Dan. Where are we going? What's the old lovable patriarch been up to now? Oh, Arthur. You know sarcasm is beneath you. He's been gambling and drinking and other things. Boring. Oh, the filthy rotter. Where can we find him? He said he was going down to the Theodore Eckhart stables. Something about a horse. It's down by the water in the warehouse district near the train yard. Come on, then. Don't be Are a pompous ass, Arthur. It doesn't suit you. Oh, should I leave that to Daddy? Leave Daddy alone. He suffers enough. Well, I suppose <laughs> I can take some consolation in that. No, oh, Arthur. I should have ran away with you years ago. Well, you wouldn't. No, I didn't. But... Well, I don't know. No time. Yeah. 
So what do you think he's up to? I'm not sure. He keeps saying it's a disgrace a man of his standing has to ride around on some old nag. Standing? He's usually falling down. Arthur. He wasn't always this way. But... It has got worse. He's drinking and gambling more than ever. Pawning things off left and right. Mixing with bad people. I'm just scared for him. Not this way. Head for the stables. Oh, Don't sorry. Whatever it is, we'll work it out. They're going the right way for you. people don't walk towards the horse I don't know what to say fellas oh this must be daddy right here oh no I thought he was falling down drunk but no place. sweeping either way lady let me go in and see what kind of a state he's in sure I'll wait here good luck if you need any help. Very funny. You can't stand there. What, in the street? Yes, in the street. Is it your street? Just get out of here. Why? I said, just get out of here. Listen, partner. I'm waiting on the lady. She's a fine lady. She's just gone inside. If I wasn't waiting on this lady, you'd be dead already. <laughs> but if you continue to irritate me, I'll kill you. And make my apologies to the lady. It's your call. Oh, I didn't mean nothing. I've never been so demeaned in my life. Apology accepted. Oh, my own wait daughter. right there. I have half a mind. To kill you myself. Daddy. No. Oh, Daddy, please come home. You're tired, Daddy. Tired. I and am unwell. no such thing. You get away from me. You head home. I insist upon it. Leave me be. Damn nuisance. Excuse me, partner. Still as charming as ever, I see. Oh, Arthur. He's up to no good. We better follow him. Okay. Get on my horse, stale boy. This way. Down here. Oh, then. Like he's going to see us. Here. See why he has such a high opinion of Ew. himself. We'll just follow the smell. Arthur, come on. He just went between those crates. Come here, <laughs> quick. Mind where you go. Mind where you go. Sorry? Do you think he saw us? I don't think so. What did you say to me? I didn't say a thing insulting. I'll wipe that goddamn smirk clean off your face. <laughs> Ain't you a little old for brawling, mister? Damn you! He's heading across the road. You know, this is kind of fun. Shh. He'll hear you. You could have cleaned yourself up a bit. I didn't realize I was here to impress anyone. I was plenty clean. I resent that. Down that alleyway. What's he doing? Must 
go find out. Wait, Arthur. Any closer and he'll spot us. And if he spots us, so what? Mary Linton, you're making a ginormous deal out of this. Just an old drunken fool. He gained himself into trouble? Well, obviously. But chasing him down is not going to do jack crap. What's he doing? On and off something. Well, he's either waiting for a woman of dubious morals or he's trying to sell something. So, Ashton, you got the money? Seems he's selling something. Have you got the brooch, Mr. Gillis? Yes. Here. Here's the money. <laughs> mm, that is beautiful. It's a family heirloom. That was it's mother's brooch. Not any longer, Mr. Gillis. Enjoy the money. And should you need any more, I can offer you a loan at a very reasonable rate of interest. No, thank you. I've heard what happens to folks who take loans from you. It's not I've his to sell. No, it's just a brooch. At least he didn't get himself you killed. You don't understand. Nice mother enough. left it to me. You yep. sold my mother's brooch? How could you? You! That's theft! Oh, speaking of thieves, I, I see you found your outlaw again. Hello, sir. Have you been well? Daddy, how could you? Mary, wait here. I'll go get the brooch. Don't hurt anyone, Arthur. He'll probably kill someone. Oh, would you like that, don't you, Mary? I am ashamed of you, Daddy. Hey, you, Ashton, hold her right there. God damn it. I have to borrow this horse. Hey! Stop that coach! Get back here! That's here. Oh, it's not Bodessia, it's Smokey. You Smokey hear girl. Me? Stop the damn coach! God damn it! You stop right now! Think I have any other way of doing this? to drop to a secluded spot. Yeah. Okay. Is this secluded enough? Like, I'm just gonna rob him. You quicker just rob him. Gillis's to sell. I bought it fair and square. How much do you want for it? I guess I could give it to you for a hundred dollars. Oh, there you go. Here, here, take the damn thing. Crazy son of a bitch. You don't know who you're messing with. You're gonna pay for this. Gonna 
pay for this. Oof, this cow is loaded. Hopefully the gators don't eat them. All right, girl. I only knocked them out. Take a walk. I'll take you to the trolley. Thank you. Yeah, uh, got you your brooch back. I won't ask. Probably best not. Hey. What are you doing now? Right this moment. Why'd you ask? <laughs> well, I was wondering if you wanted to do something. Uh, head to the theater, perhaps. Uh. Do it. Theater? Me? Sure, why not? <laughs> It'll be fun, Arthur. Let's go to the Relure. They have the strangest acts. <laughs> strangest I can handle. Well, it's the normal business of life. I can't seem to get a grip on it. <laughs> you and me both, Arthur. Oh, I've missed you. Don't start. <laughs> You're an idiot. But you'll always be my friend. Well, of course I'm your friend, but <laughs> you ain't always fair with me. If I was fair with you and a good person, I'd have had you hanged a long time ago. Well... That's true. <laughs> so, shut up and act like a gentleman, or at least try to for once in your brainless life. You're not a very nice woman, Mrs. Lamb. <laughs> well, look at the She's company not. I keep. I know, it's quite dreadful, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it's sort of beautiful in a gaudy and tasteless way. It's the only way I know. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, no, I didn't mean it like that. I'm sure. <clears throat> You silly man. Come on, let's go find our seats. How about here on the right? Sure. After you. It's gonna be a long show. <laughs> <laughs> 